On this episode of Camp Outside, we're taking a look at the campground at Wildcat Mountain State Park in Ontario, Wisconsin. Check it out. Hey guys, I'm Kevin with Kemp Outside, your inside source for all things outside. If you like what you see, hit that subscribe button, that little bell that notifies you when we release new videos, and hit that like button for me. So I'm back in Florida, as you can see by the palmetto behind me, but I just spent three and a half weeks on a tour uh, heading, up, uh, heading up north. We went all the way to Minnesota from Florida and back. Uh, it was like a 5,000 mile round trip. Uh, and one of the places we stayed was Wildcat Mountain State Park in Ontario, Wisconsin. And it is a great park. It's one of their smaller parks, um, but we really, really enjoyed our stay. And so I shot this video uh, for you to do a campground review. So check it out. We're gonna show you some of the amenities. We're gonna show you what some of the camp, uh, typical campsites look like, as well as video of uh, driving around uh, the campground. So uh, check it out. Wildcat Mountain State Park is located in Ontario, Wisconsin. The park is on a ridge and it has plenty of hiking trails and the campground is located in the center of the park. The map gives an inset for the campground but I don't find it very helpful. The map of the campground that the park offers I find much more helpful. Notice that there are several different uh, campsite options from universal sites to intermediate sites to tent sites to card in sites. We'll go over these more in detail. This is the check-in center slash visitor center. Unfortunately it was closed when we were there due to COVID-19. Let's take a look at some of the campsites. So the first site we want to take a look at is campsite number 28. 28 provides electricity, but no water hookup. It's pretty wide open, does have a gravel driveway, uh, it has a picnic table, a fire pit, and a little bench. You can see basically from standing on the main road that it's not too far from the restroom, which is just up the hill. Uh, that restroom also has shower facilities. And the electric sites are definitely designed for uh, your camper trailers and RVs. They're nice wide open sites. They don't offer much privacy though, so you are going to be able to see your neighbors and they'll be able to see you. Most of the sites are pretty level and should make setup pretty easy. The next site we're going to take a look at is Site 14. Site 14 does not offer electric hookup. It's a smaller site and it's more wooded and secluded. Site 14 is considered a tent site according to Wildcat Mountain State Park. It says that the sites are sized to accommodate tents and vans, so they don't recommend travel trailers or RVs in this site. It is much more secluded and private. with a great view of the hill below. These sites have picnic tables, a little bench to sit on, and a fire pit. If electricity isn't important, I prefer sites like this.
Site 14 is also relatively close to a vault toilet and a supply of water. So next we're going to take a look at the parking area for the cart in sites. So the cart in sites are sites 101 through 120. They're for tents only and no vehicles are allowed at the site or on the path to the sites. Wildcat Mountain State Park provides a cart for each campsite. So this is site 118. 118 is north of the main restroom and it's along a grass path and it has a pretty nice downhill hike into the site. Once you get down the hill though you can see that the site is very secluded. There's pretty tall vegetation all the way around. Once you get down to the site area, it's level with plenty of places to pitch tents or a screen house or any other type of gear. There are picnic tables, a little bench, and a fire pit. If you don't mind carting in your gear, these are excellent sites if you want privacy and some distance from your neighbors. When we were there, several Boy Scout troops had taken over these sites. So next we're going to take a look at the restrooms at Wildcat Mountain State Park. So the main restroom is located where the red arrow is at the northern end of the campground. There's fresh water there, there's flush toilets, and a shower building. And this is what the building looks like. There's ample parking with some handicapped spaces. The restrooms are handicapped accessible. There's a water fountain out front. Uh, just beyond the building are dumpsters for trash. To the left is your pump out station and a little farther down is a fresh water spigot. The second uh, restroom is a vault toilet and it's between campsites one and four. and that's what it looks like. It does have a handicapped uh, parking spot right next to it and it is handicapped accessible which is nice uh, for campers who need that amenity. The second um, vault toilet is down between sites 13 and 14 uh, also next to site 11. and it's a standard vault toilet. There's also a fresh water supply near this facility. The last vault toilet and fresh water supply is located between uh, sites 109 and 105 uh, in the cart, cart in site area. It's a smaller restroom, but fits the needs for most card-in campers. So next we're going to take a drive through the campground, and we're going to start uh, approaching the visitor center slash check-in area, and we're going to make our way north uh, past the electric sites and up to the restroom.
So starting uh, at the main entrance road, we're going to pass uh, the visitor center slash check-in area. And as I said before, this building was closed due to COVID-19 when we were there. So we never did uh, the check-in process or, or go in to see what's there. On the left hand, or I'm sorry, on the left hand side, there's plenty of parking. And on the right hand side is parking for uh, the card in areas for sites um, 110 through 115, I believe. As we make our way up the hill, we're going to pass site 22 and 23. Those are on the right, as well as site 24 and 25. If you turn left, that would take you down to the non-electric sites 1 through 16, but we're going to keep going straight north. Past site 27, and we're going to take a right to head east at the intersection, and that'll take us past sites 28 and 29 and we'll turn in towards the main restroom area uh, and shower facilities. Site 30 there is right next to the restroom facility uh, and is handicapped accessible if you need a handicapped campsite. There's the pump out station on the left, dumpsters on the right, and on the left right there is some fresh water. And then off in the distance is another area for card in campers to park. Okay, so we're going to follow the red line uh, west. So we're going to turn to the left and pass those electric sites again. And then we're going to turn south. Uh, where we'll head into the area where there are the non-electric sites 1 through 16. So we're turning back to head west now. To the right are card in sites uh, 116 through 120, which you can't see, uh, but they're relatively close to the restroom. Uh, we'll be passing the access uh, road to site 120 uh, right there on the right. Uh, we stayed in 120 when we were there uh, and it was very close to the bathrooms, very easy walk, very easy card in. So we're going to turn left to head south and we're passing site 27 on the left again. And then we're going to turn right. And this takes us to, uh, for, to uh, sites 1 through 16. And again, these are non-electric sites. Some of them are suitable for campers. Others are suitable only for tents and vans. Here's the first vault toilet. With the handicapped accessible parking. And then on the left there is the uh, water spigot for fresh water. As we make our way down, we're going to be passing sites 5, 6, 7, 8. And this area is a one-way road. We're approaching campsite 8 on our left, and then 9 on the right. And then continuing on with 10 and 11 on the right. 10 was on the left. And as we make our way around the turn, we'll pass site 12 on the left, and on the right is the second vault toilet. 
There's also fresh water supply there. There's a little parking area for extra cars. And then we're going to turn right down into a little loop. As we turn right, Site 13 will be on the right. In the center of the loop is Site 16, which is where that white car is. It's hard to see in this video, though, as we make our way around the loop. But on the right, we're going to pass Site 14 and then Site 15. And as you can see on the left, that's Site 16 inside that loop. As we come back out of the loop, you're going to get a good view of Site 13 on the left. And as we start to make our way up the hill again, we're going to turn right, cross the main exit road, and head back towards the check-in area. after we wait for a few motorcycles to pass. That's a tour of the Wildcat Mountain State Park Family Campground. So guys, I hope you found that video useful. Uh, if you did, please hit that subscribe button for me. Hit that little like icon and that bell that notifies you when we release new videos. Um, guys, every like, every comment, every subscribe helps me so much in helping me to bring this content to you. I couldn't do it without you. I really appreciate it. Also, connect with us on our other social media. We're on Facebook, LinkedIn, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, and all of those uh, links are down in the description. Uh, so please connect with us. And if you've stayed at Wildcat Mountain State Park and you want to tell us uh, what you liked about it or where you stayed or, or anything that you did there that was really important to you, um, drop those in the comments as well. I'd love to share those with, with fellow outsiders. Also, uh, we're looking for new places to stay in Wisconsin. Uh, we really like going up there. Uh, so uh, if you have another favorite state park up there that you think Kemp Outside should check out, uh, drop those in the comments as well. So guys, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. We really appreciate it. Um, we are going to be bringing a uh, state park uh, review video for Wildcat Mountain soon, as well as individual campsite review videos. So stay tuned for those. Uh, we shot many of the sites at, at Wildcat Mountain, so we're going to be bringing those to you. Again, thanks for watching Kemp Outside. We couldn't do it without you. Remember, Kemp Outside is your inside source for all things outside. We exist to help moms and dads take their kids camping, hunting, hiking, fishing, learning about nature, and developing a conservation ethic. We'll see you next time on Kemp Outside.